I'm Elliot Offen. Good morning. Happy Halloween. I'm here to see Howard Stern on some very interesting topics, which are, as always, profound physical fitness and a disease-free life, and also exposing airline corruption. And I know that Howard Stern is a person of flawless morals and virtue, and any time you can help to make the world a better place by unveiling corruption and snuffing out corruption, I know that's what Howard would like very much because of his honor and his dignity and his integrity to the world. Now, Elliot, you look a little, you look actually more physically fit than you, than you were last time you were here. What have you been doing? Well, thank you for the compliment. I don't think in reality that I am, I always think that I'm about in the same shape, give or take, like a centimeter all the time. Perhaps um, I am look more slenderized because I have a different outfit on. Instead of having a G-string panty girdle on, I have an open front where my genitalia are exposed except for panties and pantyhose, and it's an open garter girdle, so it's a different look. Well, it's very sexy. Thank you. All right, so just hang out. We'll be with you in a little bit. I appreciate it very much. All right, Ellie. And thank you so much. And thank okay. you so much. Elliot often is, claims to be a nutritionist, but he also walks around in women's panties and nylons. He, he is a cross-dresser. I guess he's a cross-dresser. I'm not sure what you I would call it. I think he's actually said that. Here comes Elliot often. Oh, oh. Beautiful. Oh, my oh. goodness. <laughs> no. <laughs> you should be, you know, oh, you, you should be in Silence of the Lambs, too. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, let me, let me ask you a couple of things. You went on an airplane recently. No, and I, instead I, I of, attempted to go on an airplane. Okay, you attempted to go on an airplane. Did you t attempt to go on the airplane wearing this kind of clothes? Yes, I did. Now, I know probably legally, you're probably, are you going to uh, file a lawsuit? Well, I've contacted the FAA, so a federal grievance will be followed, filed, and then my lawyer will take their airline into litigation forever. See, you're the kind of guy, forever. you're the kind of guy that bothers me because you're litigious. And let I've me, never sued anybody in my life up until now. But let me tell you something. Up until You're now, I've never sued anybody. Out of line. You might have a legal uh, ground that's to right, stand that's on. That's right, Howard. But let me tell you, your ass is sticking out. Oh. You've got lingerie on. That's it. I can almost see your pubic area. It's offensive. People have children. I mean, come on. You know that you're, you're someone looking to be thrown out of something so you can sue them. That's what I'm saying. Howard, I have Maybe. never had a litigation in my life. And you are the most liberal person in the world. No. And you defend the you rights of not, the injured. What you, so I'm astonished that you, you would say you that. You could put on a pair of pants. Listen to me. Listen oh, to me. But then I wouldn't be Elliot Offen and no, I wouldn't be on Howard right. Stern. You don't, have to be, you don't have to be screaming for attention every minute. When you go on an airline because yes. of children, put a pair of pants on for well, Howard, so for that I, matter, I when, I'm, when I'm in public, I should, for the sake of the world, I should put a pair of pants yes. on, and I shouldn't be yes. an entertainer, yes. and I should not be a performer. Right. Now, there's a time and a place. Howard, I'm an entertainer and a performer and an exhibitionist. What do you need the attention every second of your life? Every second, Elliot, often. Chill. Chill out for two seconds. I'm a fan of yours. I don't mind you walking around like this. But it's See, no Howard Stern said yeah. he's a fan of Elliot like Offen. But the next time he's going to say he was only kidding. He didn't mean that. I'm but not kidding about that. It. I you are a fan. When of I mine. said you had a fine ass, you think I was serious? You got a big blubbery ass. Come on, Howard. Stop it, Howard. You know that I have a very fine ass. That's what brings the world to the to a, to a stop. Howard, can I ask Elliot one question, mm. which you guys may have addressed at some point? What's the deal? Is that supposed to be like a mustache? It's um, Indian it's black, He has black makeup on his laugh lines. I oh, think so to hide the wrinkles. So I you have think, the wrinkles, yes. Uh, Gary, you I don't think you to that draws look attention? Look at my face. Where's all the wrinkles on my face? Not a one. Howard is looking carefully. Can't find a one. Elliot. He's looking oh, carefully. I, I plenty. What, uh, where are they, Howard? What under point your are you? eyes and on your laugh lines. I can't oh see. God. Under my eyes. <laughs> your face is a road map. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, look at me on the screen. Look how beautiful the face looks. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. Is that me? I look sweet and right. hot and sexy. Look at me on the screen. Hello. Elliot is into nutrition. He, he described his diet. He eats mainly fruit and whole foods. It's all raw. Wow. All raw. 
Do you have a lot of gas from that? Seriously. If I follow his diet, will I look like him? Hopefully not. Who said, which, one, which one said that? Jackie. Jackie, stand up. I'd like to see the optimum health that you look like you're in. Oh, my goodness. Come around, Jackie. We want to get a close look at you. Tonight, Howard's head writer, Jackie the Joke Man Martin, versus the cross-dressing runner and nutritionist, Elegant Elliot Hoffman. Uh, let's get ready to get ready. I bet you if you took off your shirt and Jackie took off his shirt, he's in better shape sure. than you. Let's do it. Go ahead. Do it Let's now. Let's do it. Do it. Take off your shirt. I guarantee you Jackie looks better than you. Look, the guy doesn't even... You're anything. wearing a girdle, Elliot. Right. Elliot's wearing a girdle. <laughs> take off your, your, your shirt. There's no bra. There's only this. I can't get... Take it off. tucked under. I can't... Take it off. Look. Look at the shape he's in. shouldn't be saying... Let me... I think you want Let me... Can I just... Can I just... Come on. Come on, Jackie. Let me show... Jackie. Can I... No. Don't Say something into the microphone. Go ahead. Jackie, it's all dead flesh. Take, the off, take off your top. Jackie, but I, I would, take, take it off. But Jackie, the take leopard, it off. The leopard is tucked under my genitalia. Take it off. You want me to go oh, completely oh, naked? Black. Yeah, get you naked. It take, it take it off. Drop your top. I, take it off. Drop your Why top. Why are you so ah. covered? You can't I'll take get it off. off. I'll make a pledge right now. I'll put up $10,000 bond tomorrow morning if you can last with me on the track for one mile, not for 16 miles, take you'll have your coronary heart attack. I don't even like it. Take, with heart off. Yell you. take Jackie, off. Jackie, do you understand that you look like you're ready to die? Do you understand that? In no, the he doesn't. World, he looks you are great. ready to die. Take off your shirt, you pull phony down, piece of crap. Pull down take that. Take off your shirt. Down Jackie, that. now that goes to show what kind of human being you are. If you use that kind of language to a guest on your show. I can't say that, anything. No. I can't say that. But anything. Jackie, that goes to show that you are worthless and meaningless and valueless. <laughs> you said to me. You on. have no meaning in the world. You no said value. To... Jackie, you shut are up. corrupt. Even a train comes with stuff. Shut you up. said shut up. No, you shut you up. You said come over here. <laughs> you shut you up. You said come over here and let's see who looks better. I can over, took off my shirt, hold down and you still stand there with right, your clothes? Wait, hold it, hold it. I'm Jackie, turning off everyone's like Jackie, right now you look like a meningitis victim. Okay, fine. I'm sorry. You don't look like Talk a meningitis You don't look like a meningitis victim. You look like a cup of car, car posies. A car posies. Talk to hell. A car posies. Sarcoma victim. Don't you have more? No, no, Gary, please, I'm done now. <laughs> Elliot Offen, everybody. He's... Our exotic Veronica. I love to look at his tuchus. When he leaves. Oh, that walk. Don't oh, block my view. Ah. Oh. Turn around. Let's see that fat ass. Turn Dance around. Dance. It's, it's the, the back. It's the back. That is. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Elliot, man. Why are you so angry at Jackie? Oh, Jackie came out, I'm sorry, with a, a barrel chest and a barrel waist. And he was trying to defame and denounce and debase this. I want you to get a good look at it. This he wanted to debase. This, this, this he wanted to debase that. That's what he wanted Elliot, to debase. You're scaring me. <laughs> I want to show you the iron behind us, the, the abdomen. You had, I mean, you had so many people call in about you. <sighs> you evoke such reactions from people. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Why do you think they're so mad at you? Well, I think the people that are mad at me, are mad at me, have no ethics and no morals and no standard and they just want to use concentration camp Gestapo tactics to tell me how to live my life. Oh. How are you? Hi. So, Elliot, can you do us a favor? Yes. Anything you said you, like. you said that you couldn't change in there. Yes. Because you would have to... What no, did I did. Say? I picked up my... Yeah, but you said you would have to take off your... Yes, well... Your, to, your girdle, right? My, he told me to take my panties off. That was getting a little bit, you know... Right. <laughs> Now, can you can we, can we leave you in here for a couple minutes and you could switch up your outfit, however that may so work? So how would you like me to switch it? I want you to show us your stomach. So you want me to be nude, in other words? No, well, we'll lift up that red thing for a second. Now, I want you to take off that whatever is holding up those... Yeah, I thought... This is goddess. What's... This is attached goddess. Take this off. The ho- take the whole girdle off? Doug, tell them what you want us to do. Take my girl. Close the door. Close the door. I can, I can leave too. We could all leave. We're except all for the cameras. 
take Will my girl. Can you show Howard what he didn't see in the studio? We'll we'll leave. So but what the campus what, will stay. So be ne- to be con- take all everything well, and dress. See what was what? we left. Then I'll show you. I'll point to it. Yeah. This all the day. I know we want. He wants, he wants all this whole thing. Well, under here is panties and panties. Well, no, so you, you want everything. Roll it down. No, roll it down. Well, this, roll, isn't that what I did here? And he no, no, no. We want to see your skin. So you take this off. That's my panty hose and panties. That's the last layer. There's nothing else. There's two layers. No, no, no. Panties, panties, and panty hose. That's the last layer. Oh. No, this is the oh, one. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hold on. I Which think it's too lift much. This, lift this. Uh, let, let me get. Let me explain. Lift, yeah. this, lift the shirt. Okay. So those are, those are what? This and is panty hose. Roll down the panty hose yes. and roll down your underwear. Right. So you want me to roll? So you want me to you roll it down here? Right. So you want me with no pantyhose and no panties? That's what you say. Isn't that what you say? No pantyhose and no well, panties. Well, no. It's still gonna cover your privates, but just not your belly. If you roll them down to here. Your, yours are up to here. If you roll them down to here, you know what I mean? Well, can I ask you one thing? What's sure. your name? Ganji. You I'm before. sorry? Ganji. Oh, Ganji. Yes. If Audie? If you Ganji, roll wait. them down. Well, can I just ask you a question? Those, no those, problem. Those. Can I just ask you a question? Mm-hmm. If this, you know, is panties, right. pantyhose, right. and under that is panties, and after that is no more. That's Wait, just one second. Stomach. Right, just one second. Right. If I go like this, just one second. All right. And I put this all the way up like that. Correct. Okay. Now, you already know what the thickness of panties is and pantyhose. It's like less than a millimeter. But, but one second, one okay, second. Okay, okay. So how much more flesh or weight can I have once I take that down? But Elliot, that doesn't matter. Am I right or wrong? You have eight garments on. You're right. You have eight garments on. But Elliot, eight garments What's the difference? Tra- this is, no, this Elliot. is just panties. There's wait, wait, no more garments. Listen, panties and listen. panties. You're not yes. listening. Okay. You're not listening. You're sure. No problem. What's the difference between this yes. and this? Okay, by, by showing me this, right. by showing me this, I can tell that you don't have an arm that's sticking but out to there. Black, oh, but, but you're not listening. You're not oh. listening. Oh. You're not listening. Yes. It's a black piece of material. Okay. I can't see anything. Okay. I see a black piece of material. Yes. That's what I'm seeing there. Yes. So when you go like this, I see your stomach. Yes. That's what we want to see. Okay. So now, great, great. Right. Can you can see how big my stomach is like this, but when I go like this, you can see my stomach. But, again, okay. Yeah. All right. Stop for a minute. Right. This is an unusual request. When you stand like this here, <laughs> How, <laughs> when you stand like this, right. we can see the outline right. of, of your stomach. stomach. Correct. You have a kind of a b- big bow. It's so you can say. It's a line. Well, uh, um, um, okay, can, whatever you it can is. Say. You, can say. you right. can see the outline of your stomach. Right. Now, Ganji, when I go like this, just one second. I can see the outline okay, right. of your stomach. Does my stomach look big but like that? Does that we, look we, like that? I cannot see the flesh. Here's the question. I cannot see the flesh. Is there any object underneath like a girdle That's Doug, what I think Doug the thing Sorry. that I can tell you no, it's okay. offensive. with impeccable integrity yes, I too. can tell you in the eyes of Hashem after Hashem. I lift Who? it Hashem Hashem who's that I don't know it's, it's God oh. it's God Sorry, I didn't know. after God. I lift this up yes I can tell you in the eyes of Hashem that there's two things left this is this is my outline. There's two things left. There's a pair of panty hose like that. Don't panty hose. Yeah. And there's a pair of panties. I, no. Period. There is no like Doug said, maybe there could be an extra girdle or um, an extra hidden device. That is it. We understand that. We just want to see the is. flesh behind it. That's all see, we look, see. our show's all about flesh. Look. See? Look, see, flesh, flesh. It's all about flesh. We That's all we want. See, flesh. We just see the flesh. Doug, when you see me like this, you don't see enough flesh here? You don't see Stur- Howard was just saying that it's so terrible for me to want to go on plane showing my flesh. Well, look, we like stomach. Yeah, I don't stomach, have... stomach, right. stomach, stomach, stomach. All right, it's See? obvious you don't want to do it. It's okay. It's, it's a little bit unusual, Ganji. This has I... never been asked before. It's not, well, well, you're, you're it, a little We like unusual. to do things every time. <laughs> I'm very unusual. I'm very we unusual. We like to do things different every time. So, but if you're not comfortable with, with showing us your flesh of your belly, then we don't need to do that. You don't think you could help us out and, and make it work for us? We, we, he has, you have sold 1,200 uh, manuscripts from us, right? Yes, I have. This could sell another 1,200. Um, um, I think you should think about it. Are you Isaac? Yes, I am. Isaac, I'm mixed up. I'm nervous. Isaac um, and Doug. It would Doug. be a mitzvah. Isaac and Doug. Um, and Ganji. Don't forget Ganji. And Ganji. And what's your name? Pete. Sorry, That's Pete. 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 Um, my specialization in life, I know you have pictures like this guy, he looks great, boy does he look good, um, looks all great, um, showing flesh, but my whole gig to the world, that's why I defend my rights, is that I'm never 
naked. Everything, all of my flesh, whether it's my arms. What about right here? Well, I can't get gloves up to there, otherwise I would. Well, I wear a full shirt. <laughs> no, I'm too hot for that. I walk around at 30 degrees with, with sleeveless. So, I, my whole thing is, the lingerie is my gig. It's not that I have anything to conceal, because there's nothing there. That's it, gentlemen. What you see is what you get. There's nothing to conceal, but my thing is not. My mystique, my aura, is really not to be naked. My mystique and my aura is all about stockings and panties and negligee and lingerie and girls' frilly, scanty, ruffled, exiguous, diaphanous lingerie. That's what I'm all about. I'm not about it. being a stripper and showing flesh. That's, that's what makes me probably the most unique person in the world. And that's probably what has put me on Howard Stern because I'm the most unique person in the world.